right, so Brian Roper being stupid, he left home at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, came down what he did. Center Street, uh, Butter McCullough, uh, Cedar Glen, then he did Charles Drive, all the roads up there. Came down here, missed like six trains. Still smells like diesel down here, I tell you what. Nothing like the smell of diesel in the morning, but Brian Roper's down here at... I'd say it's about 5 o'clock in the morning, 4.30, 5 o'clock, something like that. Uh, I'd say about 5.20 would be a fair guess. It's a star cluster up there. Look how clear it is. It's like you reach out and touch some damn stars. And a satellite right there, look at that. Got a satellite up there. Well, we're just going to wait for some trains to go by, and... We'll go from there. Yes, yeah, I'm not even getting daylight yet. That's freaking nuts. I saw a reflection of track on there, so I think it's a train coming. Look at this, first train of the day coming here. Look at the light of the whole dang valley. Oh yeah, you see the headlight coming. Yeah, hell, yeah, you got enough battery. i tell you what, you can hear almost a quarter of the way to freaking Altoona from here, jeez. I've been hearing a train for like 10 minutes. that oh man how far does that headlight go my god I can see it down there so oh nothing like a train at five o'clock in the morning that headlight getting brighter and brighter and brighter down there He'll see you. Here comes the headlight. Oh, yeah. Do we ever go to fuck a bad hell no? Damn. There's one right there. Hello. Oh, yeah. You got the free ray on, do you? We got two minutes since the first light. You know how freaking far away that is? Mm. This one's starting to break for the hell. Oh, is that sweet? Oh, nothing like a headlight this time of day. I don't even bother taking a picture. I tell you, flashes out here, but like, what the hell is that? Yeah, you gotta be about 5 30 in the morning. Should start seeing daylight in like about 15 20 minutes. Oh man, I tell you what. How far away is that? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, is that beautiful? Oh, is that beautiful? Oh, is that beautiful? Oh yeah. Wow, is that nuts? Oh yeah. Yep. Wow. Thirty. Oh yeah. Yep, thirty nine G. Shit. Oh yeah. He is early. Tell you what, that is nuts in the door. Wow. Come on. Here comes the GP power. Oh, yeah. Seventy-five hundred is a hair. Oh yeah. Oh, 
that sinks. Trash. We got trash on there. Man, see what third energy is really so. Tankers. He's starting to slow down. Oh yeah. Oh, it's that stink. Man. Wow. Protrans. Oh, I tell you, it looks so much damn faster in the dark. Jeez. Oh, yeah. And there's Jan. Hey, what? Uh, the darkness takes the optical illusion of the speed of the train away. I mean, you see that headlight, how quick, how much quicker that looked. I mean, it looked like it was going 10 minutes faster than normal, but it's going the same speed. I mean, that train looked like it was flying. That guy that went by me was a paper boy. I tell you what, I passed a paper boy like six times about in the last like two hours. Oh, I tell you what, this is my thing. I tell you what, there's another train coming. I heard it cleared the Greensburg train station on the radio. Uh, and I already hear the sound of it. So I'm actually hearing it by the Greensburg train station. Well, I mean, my God. That's nuts. I mean, that is far. I mean, I hear the train on the radio clearing the Greensburg train station as I hear them in the distance. All right, second train coming in. He sounds like he's hauling ass. Well, I tell you what, honest to God, you hear him clearing Georgia Station Bridge and the Greensburg Train Station, you hear him coming in the distance already. I mean, it's nuts. Don't be fooled, it's like a two miles straight away down the road and from there. See the headlight forever. Well, they know I read the group posts. I mean, geez. Because you get a whole backlog of trains coming because the drone went up and crossing. See, I told you, you see that headlight forever. It's like a two and a half mile straightaway down there. Here he comes. Oh, yeah. They know. It's like freaking daylight. Just don't make any sudden movements and you're fine. Plus, they're used to seeing you now. Let's see if I get a horn on this one. I just might. Let's see, which one are you on today? Oh, is that sweet? I tell you what, the darkness takes away the optical illusion. Look at that thing, it's like sails in there. Holy shit, it's that fast. Let's say. On rafts. Three engines. Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, no, mixed right. No, that's the sand. Sand train. Okay, that's the sand train. Oh, yeah. Look at that shit go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's the other rocks. He is hauling ass. Oh, it looks 10,000 times faster in the darkness. Oh, yeah. Oh, that air is cold. Oh, I wish you could see that speed. Hell, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's ten thousand times more badass in the dark. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. That shit fly. Oh, I tell you what, you can see that. Oh, yeah. 
but man, the dark makes it so much more scary. Comes in. Oh yeah. And there's your blows. Oh yeah. All right, here comes uh, John Sompis for a flight. Boy, I tell you what, he passed all them trains by freaking 80 miles. And 80 miles is like horseshoe curve. Here comes the Johnstown Pittsburgh flight. That's the one that I can see from my house in the distance. So he's gonna make the turn, go right past my house, which is like up there. You know, as I stand down here in the dark, I remember they always said these places are haunted. I don't see shit down there, I mean, I don't see any ghosts or nothing. We're not coming in from Johnstown. He'll be in Pittsburgh in about five minutes. I'll tell you what, traffic in Rome, PA. 7.45 to about 9 a.m. Uh, it's uh, a disaster out there. I think uh, dead zone until about 1.30. And once 1.30 hits, traffic picks up and uh, 3 o'clock's a nightmare. And about 5.30 starts signing down. Alright, here comes, what, third train for the day? Yeah, we got daylight. Nice sunrise. I'll tell you what, they said it was supposed to rain by 1 p.m., but <laughs> these clouds are on in are saying otherwise. Alright, real quick, check this out. Here's my new airtight snack holder. It's got some catch latches. Just hangs in there, holds on my snacks. Look at that. That's beautiful. Makes the O holder six balls of water, well, five balls of water on the tee. You got basically Slim Jims, Pop Tarts, uh, crackers in there. I tell you, downing a lot of carbohydrates like pasta, taking in a lot of salt from like tea and stuff. And water, I tell you what, that gives me the most energy. I tell you, you, you eat those energy drinks at home, because those are bad for you. Energy drinks give you kidney failure everything. I tell you, carbohydrates from like pasta, salt from like crackers and tea, the sodium, bunch of water. I tell you, it does, it does wonders for you. Gives you all kind of energy, does all kind of things. And we got a train coming. It's like a commercial break, except there's a train coming. And we got a train coming right back at you. So you say to me, Brian Ropar, why do you come out here at 4 o'clock in the morning to save chairs and watch trains? Well, uh, the chairs are autism. Uh, we're almost over with that. I mean, I'm so close to letting go of that. I mean, coming out here watching these trains every day is getting me to that point. But it's like, why do you come out here at 4 o'clock in the morning to watch trains? Well, when people from the railroad start seeing you out here... They're going to say, okay, this guy's reliable. Uh, we might take a chance on hiring him. And that's how you get in there. I tell you, as soon as the Amtrak goes to the spot, I'm going up the hill. It's going to stop swearing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we got quite a swearing problem. I yeah, will take care of that. We got a train and some nice red sky. Oh, yeah, is that beautiful? Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, but that red sky morning <laughs> means some stuff's coming on my way later. And we have a red sky morning sailors take warning. Oh yeah. Definitely got some nice red forming out here. And these clouds say that the rain's going to be here quicker than the guy on the TV said it would be. Alright, red sky morning sailors take warning. That's a brilliant red there. I'm out here now because it's going to rain later and rain for the next couple days, so this might seal it for this week. It's it. Plus, there's a chair I want to check on up there, and hopefully the train and truck comes, put the trash truck comes up there, and it works out. Look at that red sky. Oh, yeah. There she comes. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Watch out. 
Charles. Looks like he's going so freaking slow. Here she comes. Charles. No, blast me. EPS containers there. Let's take a photo up here. Don't come behind me. Hold on, someone come behind me in a second. There she blows, right there. Look at that. That does not look like 3 energy. No, it's not too fast. Sec terrain. Yep. He's under that new brake. Okay, ES44 ACs. I think that's all that was. I need to tell you this, uh, you look around, uh, the leaves have changed out here. I mean, I hate to say it, it's fall. Yeah, it feels like fall, it's cold, it's, it's like, it's a, it's a cold crisp morning out here. Now I'm wishing I had sweatpants on. What, three days ago it's like 90 degrees. Now it's like 50. Yeah, and I tell you what, like I said, weather guys are lying because there's the rain pushing in right there, and it's pushing in this way too. You know what, coming down here like I did this morning, I tell you what, you hightail it up to Greensburg, you can get on Amtrak, it's like 20 bucks to put your bike on the train. Uh, I tell you, you can ride up to Altoona on the Amtrak train. I go up to the Tunnel Inn and visit Mr. Bob Elder for a while, the Glitz and Tunnel Inn bed and breakfast. Probably stay there up stay up there. Uh next day, next afternoon, catch him truck back down here. Get off of Greensburg. I mean hell it's gonna be just as dark at night. I mean you could just I mean I could definitely do that. Come on, Brian, like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be able to understand what you just said there. So let's just sum it up. Uh, basically, I would leave home at like 4 o'clock in the morning, go up to Greensburg, catch the eastbound Amtrak train, uh, get off in Altoona, bike up to the Glitzen Tunnel Inn, bed and breakfast from where my friend Bob Elder is, and then ride back to Altoona, catch the afternoon Amtrak back this way, get off in Greensburg, be home by 10.30 about. 
This morning at 3 a.m. I did rescue chairs, but I set them up in my friend's yard, so we had to pick those up. But I think we're just gonna leave them up there for now. I'll get them later when I come back down here. So, all right, Amtrak, and we're back up the hill. And I tell you what, I've heard three distinct train horns, two that way and one behind me. I just saw the Penn traffic bus go by at the same time a Norman bus went the other direction. I'm telling you what, <laughs> gangsters. Oh, he's going to get his trailer. He's going to know where we're going to get his trailer. That road struck there. The Amtrak just came on the radio. Well, actually, Pittsburgh East Dispatch just came on the radio and said, Amtrak, you're going to go to Main 1 from Greensburg to Latrobe. So, he's coming. Shot me, Goose. Freaking Goose. Alright, I think over T's coming now, so. I just heard the sack on there, so it's coming. I hear a train coming now. There he is. There he is. There he is. And here he comes. He is on. He's on the main one. Here he comes. He is coming fast. So, and he comes. So. Right, so we're back down the road trucks again to catch Amtrak. So, I tell you, I saw a question online about an Amtrak train. Uh, why is half the Amtrak train empty and off limits? Well, if you look at it, you got three cars facing this way, three cars facing the other way. Uh, you take the engine off, put in the other train, take the engine off of that train, put in the other one, pull it back. You just swap the engines on the different sides, and you got that half facing this way, and then you go back the other way, the half facing that way. Very simple. Tail efficient and quick. Here comes the sun. I tell you, the rain's going for the night. And I have a stack of three chairs to pick up off of Mike's porch up the road. 